In the last video, we have discussed various types of arguments that are supported by Python in the context of functions. In this video, we'll see what are the variable length arguments, that is how we can pass variable number of arguments to a defined function. So basically, these are all the types of arguments that are supported by Python. Unlike other languages like C, C++, Java, Python supports sending various types of arguments to functions. That is positional arguments where the parameters need to be passed in the same order in which they appear in the function definition. And the default arguments are the ones which you can miss while calling the function because these are the arguments for which a default value is assigned while defining the function itself. So you can miss certain arguments by using the default arguments. Keyword arguments are the arguments which allows you to send the parameters in the arbitrary order to a function. So whereas variable length arguments are the ones which allows you to send variable number of arguments to a function. Python supports defining functions with variable number of arguments. That is, you can pass the number of arguments varying. The number of arguments you are sending need not to be fixed. It can be varying also. This will be much comfortable for the developer. Python supports defining functions which allows you to send variable number of arguments. That is, the number of arguments you are sending to a function, so no more is fixed. It can be variable. So you can send variable number of uh, arguments to the functions that are already defined. These are also known as the arbitrary length arguments as the number can be arbitrary which is not fixed. So when you are not very sure about the number of arguments you are sending to a function, then you can use these variable number of arguments or arbitrary length arguments. So Python supports variable length arguments in two different ways. So one is a variable length positional arguments and the other one is a variable length keyword arguments. So let's see what these variable arguments are and how Python supports us to create the variable length arguments. So how it is possible is while defining the function in Python, you can prepare an asterisk symbol or two asterisk symbols with a parameter. So that is how you are allowing the parameter to receive variable number of arguments. So by this way of definition, so you can send multiple arguments to the parameters. For example, if you consider this function definition fun1, so here there is a parameter names which is prepended with the symbol asterisk. That means this parameter names later can allow variable number of arguments. So you can either send one argument, two arguments or even no arguments also. That's how names is a parameter which allow you to send multiple number of arguments. Similarly, in the definition of function 2, there is another parameter names which is prepended with two asterisk symbols. In the function fun1, the parameter names can accept variable length positional arguments. Whereas in the function fun2, the parameter names can accept variable length keyword arguments. That is how Python supports us to send variable length arguments to a predefined function. Now let's try to understand these two types of variable length arguments in detail. So first of all, let's check out how we can use the variable length positional arguments in Python. So let's consider this function definition. Fun is a function name here and it is having a single parameter with the name names. If you observe, there is a symbol asterisk that is prepended with the parameters names. That indicates that names is a parameter which accepts variable length arguments. Because there is a single asterisk symbol, that means it allows variable length positional arguments. So let's see how we can do that. Here, function fun can be called with variable number of arguments. Moreover, the parameter names is treated as the tuple inside the function fun. Here, function fun can be called with the passing variable number of arguments while calling this function. And moreover, the parameter name is treated as a tuple inside the body of the function fun. Now let's see how we can call the functions which is having the variable length parameters. Look at this uh, function definition. So names is a parameter which can accept variable number of arguments and I can call this function by passing variable number of arguments. If you consider this function call, I am passing three different arguments. Of course, all the three are strings. And then I am calling the same function fun by passing a single argument. 
and I am passing the same function fun by passing two arguments. I can even call this function without passing any argument also. When I call this function fun without passing any argument then, so what the names parameter receives is an empty tuple. So in all the cases, the parameter names will be treated as a tuple because the, it is prepended with a single asterisk symbol which indicates that the parameter can accept variable length positional arguments and when the parameter can accept variable length positional arguments it is treated as a tuple inside the body of the function fun. If you observe using all these function calls your function fun can be called. So in the first case you are passing three parameters in the second case you are passing one parameter whereas in the other function call you are passing two parameters in the last case you are not passing any parameter at all that is how python supports passing variable number of uh, arguments to the function so now let's see so is it like i need to call this function using the strings list of strings itself it is not necessary at all so you can call this function by passing any set of arguments so here i'm calling this function fun by passing a string then an integer then another string you can call this function fun by passing any set of arguments and of any type also so that's how you can call the function fun by passing any number of arguments and any type of arguments also now i'm passing three different integers to the function fun. So now I am passing two different arguments to the function fun. So here I am not passing any argument at all. That is how python supports defining functions which can receive variable number of arguments. In some cases you can call the functions by passing two arguments, three arguments, n number of arguments. So you can vary the number of arguments you are passing irrespective of the number of parameters you are defining in the function. So now let's see how we can use the variable length keyword arguments in python. So so far we have seen how we can use variable length positional arguments depending on the position they will be. So when you pass the variable length positional arguments what happens is all the arguments are packed together as a tuple and they are copied to that parameter right. But how it happens in the case of the variable length keyword arguments let's see that. So in this case also you are allowed to pass variable length arguments to a parameter okay but the parameter will be treated as a dictionary in the case of the variable length keyword arguments so here if you consider this uh, example function definition fun is a function name where names is a parameter and which is prepended with two asterisk symbols that indicates that the function fun is having a parameter which is of type variable length keyword argument that means here names is the parameter which can accept variable length arguments not only that the double star indicates that the names parameter will be treated as a dictionary inside this function body fun so that's how you can use a variable length keyword arguments so let's see how we can call this function here this function fun is having d as a variable length keyword parameter which can accept variable length uh, arguments and now let's consider this function call which is having three different values right so you need to pass all the arguments all the multiple arguments as a key and the value pairs so that's how all this collection will be copied as a dictionary and will be copied to the variable length keyword argument so what happens is all these three collection of elements along with the keyword and the value they will be packed as a dictionary and will be copied to the d parameter that's how d gets a dictionary with the values and the keywords a colon 10 b colon 20 c colon 30 remember throughout the body of the function fun the parameter d is treated as a dictionary whereas in the case of the variable length positional arguments the parameter is treated as a tuple here the parameter is treated as a dictionary so now let's see how we can call this function so i am passing four different arguments and i can even call this function with a single argument i can even call this with two arguments even without any argument also when i don't pass any argument to these type of functions which can accept multiple keyword arguments is so the parameter will take an empty dictionary that's how i can pass variable number of arguments as keywords to the function parameter so now let's try to understand how we can use the variable length arguments in the function call itself so far we have seen how they can be used the star argument star star arguments in the 
function parameters but let's see how we can use these types of uh, arguments while calling the functions so consider this function call so fun is a function with three different parameters argument 1 argument 2 and argument 3 and assume I have some set of statements as part of the body of the function and then I'm going to call this function by using by passing star args as a parameter here what happens is args is already created as a tuple and that tuple will be passed as an argument to the function fun. In this case what happens is whenever this function is called then the values in the tuple 10, 20, 30 will be unpacked and will be assigned to argument 1, argument 2 and argument 3. So that's how when you call a function by passing a variable length positional parameters unpacking of the tuple will be happened and that's how you can use the variable length positional parameter during the function call. Now let's see how we can use variable length keyword arguments during the function call. So here k args is the variable which I defined it as a dictionary which is having the collection of elements where every element in k args is a keyword and the value pair. And now I'm going to call the function fun by passing this star star k args as the value. k args is a dictionary and that will be that will be uncopied to the arguments R1, R2, R3 and those values will be used. So that's how we can use the variable length positional arguments and the variable length keyword arguments during the function definition how to use we have already discussed and now we have seen how they can be used during the function calls. So, so far in this video and the previous video we have seen how Python supports various types of arguments like we have seen the keyword arguments, positional arguments, default arguments, then how to pass variable length of arguments also to the functions. Basically Python supports one wonderful feature which allows us to pass variable length of arguments to the functions by using the star and the double star symbols prepended to the parameters we can pass variable number of arguments to the functions. So variable length of positional parameters and variable length keyword parameters how we can pass with the help of the examples we have seen so far. I hope now you understand how various types of arguments can be passed to the functions in Python. Thank you, thank you for watching this video.